Hey, welcome to Electron Online. Here's part B of our example. On the previous example, we showed you when we had a situation with three slits, we have an interference pattern where the phase angle difference was 60 degrees, and we found that the intensity was four times the intensity of the single slit intensity. Uh, notice that uh, we have the situation here where we're probably somewhere on the central maximum, but not quite in the center. In the center, the intensity is nine times the intensity of a single wave and you can see that as you go further and further out the intensity drops off eventually you get zero intensity but with a phase angle difference of 60 degrees between the adjacent rays we can see that at this point we have the intensity equal to four times the intensity of a single wave we want to know now how far away from the central maximum that is if the distance between the slits and the screen is two meters and the distance between the slits are 0.2 millimeters. So this is the distance between the slits, d here, which is equal to 0.2 millimeters. How far away from the central maximum do you find the intensity to be four, four times the intensity of a single, of a single wave? All right. How do we do that? We go back to the definition here that the phase difference is equal to the extra distance traveled divided by lambda times 360 degrees. Now the extra distance right here, if this is d and that angle here is theta, we can see that's opposite to the angle, so we can say that the extra distance can also be expressed in terms of d sine theta. And we can see that right here, that extra distance can be expressed as d sine theta. Now since these are very small angles, the sine of theta is equal to the tangent of theta, approximately equal, but with very small angles, they're basically the same. And we also know that definition of the tangent is the opposite side over the adjacent side, so it would be, would be y divided by L. So what we can say here is that phi can also be described as dy over lambda L times 360 degrees. And since the phase difference, in this case, is 60 degrees, we can say 60 degrees equals dy over lambda L, I guess I shouldn't write them together, D times Y times 360 degrees, and of course 60 degrees on one side, 360 on the other side, and we're solving for Y, we can then say that Y is equal to 60 degrees divided by 360 degrees, which is 1 sixth. So we put 360 over here, I flip the equation around, then I can put uh, D on the denominator, and lambda and L on the numerator. Okay, now all we have to do is plug in the values. So this is equal to 1 sixth times lambda, which is 500 times 10 to the minus 9 meters, 500 nanometers. The length is 2 meters, and the distance between slits is 0 0.0002 meters. All right, now let's see what we get. Whoa, drop my calculator. There we go. So we got. 500 e to the 9 minus times 2 divided by 0 0.0002 and divide by 6 oop, equals and we get 0 0.833 millimeters 0 0.833 millimeters so almost one millimeter away from the central maximum so you can see that these are very small, thin central maximum, it's very thin, but we realize that we're almost one millimeter, one millimeter away from the center, and that's how we find that. Now, what if you wanted to find the angle theta? So you can say that, well, we know that the tangent of theta is equal to y over l, so we know that theta is equal to the arc tangent of y over l, which is equal to the arc tangent of y, 0 0.833 millimeters divided by L, which is 2 meters. All right, let's do that. So we take that and divide that by 2, and we take the arc tangent of that, and we get 0 0.0239, so it would be equal to 0 0.0239 degrees. Very tiny angle, very small distances. But that's, again, how we do that. That's how we find the distance from the central max to any particular location on the, dis on the interference pattern. And we also find the angle like that relative to the phase difference. So remember that we can find the angle theta when we know the phase difference phi. And that's how we do that.